Welcome to Metal Arms, and time for something a little different, because we're going to hold your ground at the mill compound. The local mill have noticed the wrecked communications relay, and they're on their way to intercept. If you let those robo-turds into the compound, you're going to be neck deep in mill crap in no time. Man that defense cannon, and turn those yank crackers into molten metal as soon as they poke their stupid heads out. Hold your ground, son! That's right, we get this here flak cannon, and we're going to do something a little reminiscent of a tower defense. <clears throat> you see, they're going to have a billion rats, and we're going to have this one cannon. Any of the rats get past these bridges, we lose. Even though we could probably just take them, considering we're kind of a badass. But that's not the objective here. The objective here is to simply kill them before they even approach. The optimal strategy, of course, is as soon as you see them, you blast them. And hopefully the fla uh, the cannon here is accurate enough, because the shots do spray at long range, it's accurate enough to kill all the enemies before they even manage to get through the tunnel. And of course, it's just wave one right now. They're going to come at you one by one until they're dead. Which makes it very easy. But now we're on to wave two. Wave two will be the longest of the waves. But all in all, we only have to hold out for five minutes. This is what I mean about accuracy. <laughs> Fortunately, it's still just wave two, so it's not that bad. The gun does have accuracy issues, which could crop up for wave three. Wave three being the third and final. Uh, I believe, and I have not tested this or anything, but the uh, sort of orbs on the side, the storage tanks or whatever you want to call these, if you blow them up, I'm pretty sure they'll kill any rats next to it. I have not tested it, and I don't want to test it, because that's kind of close to the uh, base. If I mess up... Oh, and here is a fly guy. Whatever they're actually named. So now not only do we have to deal with rats from the tunnels, there will be those uh, flying drone guys coming in from the sides. Like that. And they're sneaky. But all in all, it's just kind of a walk in the park until wave three. Or I sit at the park and then you shoot them kind of day, you know? I mean, I, I don't know those kinds of days. I don't do that, but maybe you do. Uh, you know, teach their own. That's why I say this is kind of like a flak cannon, because it's very reminiscent of how flak guns appear in media. You know, the big explosions and them bursting in air, you know? Bombs bursting in air. Alright, so far, so good. Other than the flying guys who automatically start at the bridges, um, no one's even approached the bridge. But we're on to wave three, with a minute 16 on the clock. This will be the most harrowing experience we'll have yet. So keep on your toes, your thumbs. Oh, hello. So I mean, they're sneaky. They're sneaky. Oh, this is where it gets a little tricky. 
trying to prioritize the faster rats, because I can always shoot down the... Okay. <coughs> okay. Uh, that was a failure to prioritize. All right. But fortunately, we start back at wave three. Minute 16 on the clock. And we're at it again. And you'll notice this is slightly different than last time. I believe each component of the wave has its own kind of, uh, factor. What? Well, that was a little scary. You, know, like you hear the alarm going off, because that means enemy is approaching, and it turns out it's just because a flying guy decided to fly literally across <laughs> the front. If he had just turned to the left, I'd just instantly lose. Now, the flying guys are the slowest of the enemies. But also the more durable ones. And there's a lot of enemies. And a lot of enemies are coming through. And I'm scared. I'm so scared. Die. Die! Wood! Okay. That was, uh, like I said, uh, an accuracy issue <laughs> with the cannon. Even in close range, apparently, there's accuracy issues. Ugh. Mini six here on the clock. It's another one of those scary flying guys right next to your face. If I could please just hit him. Thank you. Uh, okay. You would appear my luck is not with me. Very not with me! Oh, uh, well, I guess it's kind of all over because there's a flying guy on the other side that I can't do. Oh, he turned around? Oh, I, I shot that too soon. Too soon, executives! Oh man. Did I... <laughs> did I make it? Whew. I got a little scary. And we win! But one more wave, I guess. One more. That's all we have to do. Get through this last wave. And victory is assured. Yay! And Glitch gets to run away now. You see, we have to chase after Flax. And unfortunately, we don't have our sweet yellow rat, so we'll just have to make do with a stupid mill red one. Whatever. <clears throat> and if you just do it and, you know, don't fail two times, then you'll get the speed chip. Easy as that. Uh, and as always, since that was just kind of an intermission, we're going to continue on. But here's the other thing. I had a sort of issue in the next level, so I had to, <laughs> I had to restart. So, uh, we're going into that next level now. In the R&D labs. And, and really, what research do they do? Um, hopefully, the issue I had doesn't come up again because it made me sad. It was more of a technical issue than anything. Anyway. This is where Flax is, and we're gonna get that guy, and we're gonna get Krunk's chip, and we're gonna be good. Big hero. Crusty collar bearings! Krunk has been captured by the mirrors and is being held captive Krunk. somewhere in the research facility. Not Krunk. You need to rescue him and bring back his Morbot power chip. Um. Flex! You'll never catch me, you rock busting reject! <laughs> oh yeah, just wait and see! Oh. Hello. Cease to function, minor. <laughs> you first. Um Yeah, I guess rocket launcher's fine. Because we have this here imp grenade. No, actually, I can save that. Because I see. Uh I see a shield. We're running for that shield and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna 
gonna spray him. Three, two, and go! <laughs> You're no match for me, Titan! <laughs> We're also being introduced to one of our <laughs> new friends, a new mill Titan. <laughs> These are the scientists. The mill scientists found right here at Mill RND. Whew. Let me just jump up here. Jump up there. Nothing in here. Okay. Whew. The scientists have the ability to zap you for damage and also uh, heal uh, their allies. Fortunately, the spew level 3 is pretty darn good. Hi. <laughs> See, this is where that saved imp can come in handy. Ooh. Oh, but do you know what I see? A nice little rat turret. Say goodbye! Um... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there it is. Whew! Harrowing, perhaps. Please, if only I had the ability to jump straight. Okay. And here we have a debt pack in their little cargo hold. So even their transports look like they're kind of uh, droids. Like turtles. And just to be sure, opening this switch here shows nothing down there. And how about under here? Is anything under here? Oh, I see, good chair. There's some nice washers. And let's lower this here down. And oh, hey, another chip. That's two. I uh, let's just say know where a third one is. Let's go get that. And there we are. A third chip. Third secret chip. Now we should have had everything we can get in this location. I know you can't drive the rat, as fun as that might seem. You can't. Not here. Not now. Um... Yes. And... Let's blow this joint. No. Six seconds. It's a short fuse. Lovely. Uh... Let's try the rocket. It's the enemy! With broken backs, they come at you. And now with broken bodies. And that sound is an auto turret. But now they have rail techno oh, rail technology that lets them move. Too bad it wasn't good enough for that one. Another scientist. Goodbye, friend! Oh, a scientist using its healing ability. Oh. And now they're just gonna be little healing buddies and heal up. A scientist cannot heal itself, however. And they drop cleaners. That's a it's a rare item, so it's kind of cool, I guess. Not that I use them since they're so rare. Okay. Um, eh. Spew. Sure. <laughs> Flex! You little jerk! I'm gonna kill you! Jerk! <laughs> ah, what? Ah. Yeah. Get out of my way! 
Ow, 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 ow. Uh, using rail technology, are you? I'll show you what happens. Very good. And I knew you were here, too. Very nice, very nice. Um, so to chase after him, we need a chip. Where to find one? Excuse me, sir, but do you have a chip I can borrow? Just one. Just a chip! Why, thank you, good friend. Now, uh, I can say with uh, all confidence that this is what the issue was last time. I killed that scientist, supposed to drop the chip. Guess what happened? Chip was inside that uh, console he was next to, and uh, I, I could not get it. I, I could not. In fact, I didn't even realize he was the one who dropped the chip until I remembered, oh yeah, he probably is the one. Huh. I don't think I'm finding any health back here. And uh, I did, so... Whatever. Whatever. Alright, so the the rest of this level will be uh, based off my 10-year memory instead of my, like, uh, 30 minutes ago memory. Which is not very good, since my memory is bad, regardless. Alright. Now I have my chip. I'm not sad like last time. Here we go. In those lost... The lost recordings. This is a new future. A new tomorrow. Flax, I'm coming for you! Hello? Flax? You didn't wait for me? Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> that was close. Will you die? Become scrap. I probably should be using a less explosive weapon. <laughs> but, c'est la vie. Wait. I know those sick beats. It's you guys, the Barabats. Held prisoner. Yeah, you. I'm coming for you. I shall free you. Too bad I'm kind of poor. Do you have anything for free? <laughs> anything free for me, please? Ooh. What is this? Arm servo now, uh, upgrade. That's fancy. Also could upgrade my mining laser as if I ever use that. Or the ripper. Oh, that's all you offer? You don't offer anything cool? Well, arm servo upgrade sounds nice. The upgraded arm servo is installed. Glitch can now switch weapons faster and even reload some weapons more quickly. Nice. Now I do have enough washers to upgrade my mining laser. Uh, but again, I do not use it, so I'm gonna save my washers for the inevitable next time I get a chance to upgrade my rocket launcher. So let's see how fast we can switch our guns now. Boom! Bow! Look at that. Crazy how fast that is. Uh-huh. And away we go. Flex! You! My you! Okay. <laughs> uh, friendly fire. Oh, they have a scientist. You don't want to turn that corner. I'm telling you, you don't want to turn this corner! The thing about scientists is they can't actually revive the dead. He's gonna kill me! Woof! seems as though I'm being invited to, into a door. I'm out of ammo. Oh. Arm servos! So I'm being invited down that long hallway. You might understand that I don't want to go in there. Not just yet. Let's get some ammo. Let's get some, uh, some, uh, option boy. My little friend here, even though, uh, the battle's already over. You might say that we are about to enter into some sort of boss fight, considering all the ammo they're kind of throwing at you. My lack of health would uh, indicate otherwise. <laughs> Titan? 
Who would have expected the Titan? Not me, certainly. All right. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, I'm over here now? Whatever. Well, I, I don't know when the Titan got there, to be honest. <laughs> Did not see him coming. What? Who shot a rocket? Did he drop his grenade with his last dying breath? Yeah, Alright, let's get our arm servers again. The surprise Titan is the deadliest Titan. <sighs> All right. Recruiter grenade. A recruiter grenade. Uh, you can throw that grenade. It will produce a field similar to an emp uh, field, and then you get to convert any millbots to your side. I'm sure I'm gonna find some on my own eventually, so I'm not gonna bother picking it up. But it's something to keep in mind. They exist. They're very powerful. Very nice. Um, and if I recall, I'm going to use my spew that has no ammo. Scatter blaster. <laughs> Flex. I'll just let them kind of come around the corner to me. Right. Didn't die. Okay. Okay. All right. Time for some precision shoot. Uh, I think I <laughs> precisely hit the gun barrel. Uh, did you die? No. He's just not dying. Freaking scientist man. How did I do this before so easily? <laughs> Alright, pardon me. I don't think there's any extra health. Unless I want to buy some health. Who wants to buy health? Alright. Just gonna have to go in guns blazing. What? Alright. Alright! Alright, let's just say I'm having a bad day. <laughs> This time, for sure! You know what, that health thing was probably there the whole time. I could've just picked that up. It's a, a tad upsetting. Whoa! Clearance check in stereo! We're okay. It's okay. Failure is the spice of life, after well, all. If it isn't, I'm That's what they say, the right? <sighs> they just... You are they don't want to lose. <laughs> Not like this. You will be hot. Now, get into like a, a, a titan coming out of nowhere. I'm fine with dying to that. Dying to some idiot Milgrunt on a turret because I can't seem to hit him. That's not... that won't fly. No, sir. I'm gonna have to do to him like I did to him that first time. Just stick my spew into his mouth. Get out of here, Vlax. Well, that <laughs> certainly didn't work out. Okay. Um, I'm showing you what not to do. Let's uh, phrase it that way. Just, just showing you what not to do. Don't do that. Don't just jump in willy-nilly. You die. <sighs> yes. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm missing a washer. <laughs> I'm having a real tough time, barter bots. Real tough. I don't think these arm servos are really doing the job. Alright. Don't say that. You make it sound like I'm gonna die again. 
gonna come back here. I'm gonna say hello to you again. Get my arm servos again. Don't say that. <sighs> okay. Um. So we're not gonna just jump into them. But instead, we're gonna watch Flax laugh away and then and then explode the guy on the turret. <laughs> did I win? I did it. <laughs> He's dead. All right. But I still have the others. The scientist. Ooh. Scientist. Right there. Oh boy. Let's uh, switch to spew. Turret guy's dead. All slept to the scientist. He's dead. We win. Now you see the door opens. Oh, there's nothing there. Nothing in the. Nothing at all. Ha 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 ha. When in reality, we all know there's a ninja titan over there. And he's going to die. A very painful death. Scientists, I think, drop special grenades. It's just, like, their thing. There he is! He's not dying. Why don't they die? He has one stupid leg. I think I broke his rocket turret, and he's still going to kill me. <laughs> no! <laughs> Get away from me! <laughs> no, seriously, how much health does that guy have? Oh, I guess he was almost dead. Maybe I should just use an M grenade. Maybe I should just do that, huh? I swear to you, this is the last try. I don't need more. At this point, it's just comical. It's almost as if I'm doing it on purpose, but I'm not. I mean, wait, I am doing it on purpose. Haha. <laughs> because I'm so tired of having shorter videos, doing everything so pr well the first time around, you know? Haha. <laughs> this isn't even difficult. I'm just making it seem that way, so that way you think it's hard and stuff, so, so that way it, it seems like uh, it makes sense I would die. This will be the last time we meet here, I swear to you. I don't want to see you again. This is the last run. The only run that matters. <sighs> Shut up, Lex! <laughs> I didn't kill that other guy. <laughs> Fuck. Arm servo! Bang! Bang! So there's that other turret. What if I use my own turret, huh? Huh? What happens then? Gifted with a thousand years of knowledge, we shall eliminate the threat. Uh, yeah, I guess spews the most damage. I thought I would go without that secret chip. Well, no depression can stop that. All right. And we drop into another tomorrow. <sighs> well, that was painful. Um. I don't. I don't like fighting Titans so much. Not so much. 
But it's good to see an enemy that is consistently powerful. You know, whatever, whatever. I'm gonna lick my wounds. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.